Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing my spoiler-free review of The Shape of Night by Tess Garretson. And this is her latest standalone paranormal gothic novel that just came out earlier this month. So I'm a huge Tess Garretson fan. I grew up reading the Rizzoli and Isles series. So now that I, when I knew she would have a new book coming out this year, that would be a little different um, than her previous works, I was really excited to pick this one up. So basically the premise of this is that it takes place in this coastside small town in Maine and this woman who's kind of running away from her demons um, from Boston ends up renting this very old house in Maine and while she's there she's kind of experiencing some strange things that don't really make a lot of sense that are taking place in the house and I'll kind of leave it from there because I think it's best to kind of just go into this not knowing what to expect um, but like I said this one I was really interested to read because I felt like it was so different than from her other works. I've read like I said the entire Resilient Isle series and I loved a lot of her standalones like Gravity, Harvest, The Bone Garden. So this one had already I had kind of a standard that I hold her writing to. Um, so this one I don't know I was a little bit disappointed with this one. I gave it a three out of five stars. I still like enjoyed it but I just wasn't invested in it like I've been with her other books and so kind of the pros for this book is that it's very atmospheric I could totally picture myself in this seaside town and just being involved like with like the very paranormal aspects in here were really creepy and just the way they were described and I could totally just visualize it and I had that haunting haunted feeling that the main character felt but I did struggle with getting invested in this novel um, despite that um, but I did really enjoy like the ending was really intense and I did not kind of see that it was very surprising so I was that's why I said I really actually enjoyed the ending because it was really unexpected but it just took me a while to just thoroughly get invested in the story this book is very short it's about 260 pages and a little bit more um, but it wasn't until maybe like the 170 200 page mark that I actually was like okay I'm really invested in the story the mystery aspect in here I think is what really kind of helped motivate me reading this story because it's the re narrator is unreliable and I'm not usually a big fan of books that have unreliable narrators and she like it was kind of very um formulaic in terms of like how she ended each night with a drink and like all this other stuff that happened afterwards so it was very repetitive so it took me like I, like I said I wasn't really invested in it until it actually starts to pick up towards the end and I wasn't expecting this one to have so many sensual moments in here those really took me by surprise and I was like oh okay um so just be forewarned that like I wasn't expecting that um, but just so you know like it was a little bit strange but it kind of ties into this novel and just kind of like what's going on um, but overall like I said like it, this was an okay book I've read I don't really gravitate towards this like paranormal genre but there's been a few that I have read and I've enjoyed those a little bit more than this one um, because I don't know like I said it was just missing that something that made it special like there was something really special about like Harvest or Gravity or the Bone Garden and like this one was just missing it so that's why I was a little bit disappointed um, but like I said it was still like an interesting like fun read especially now that it's kind of closer to Halloween so it's timing wise I feel like it worked out but it was just I don't know I just couldn't like thoroughly get invested in it. So if you are a fan of Tess Gerritsen I feel like this one is worth giving a try just because it's a little bit different and maybe you will like like this genre a little bit more than me so I feel like if you are a fan like it's worth giving a try because it kind of shows her um, kind of well-roundedness of being an author so like I said give this one a try. 
So that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this book and what you thought of it and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.